Let A be an m by n matrix with rational entries. Let B be an m tuple with rational entries, and let x equals x1 up to xn be a tuple of variables. We say that the system a x greater than or equal to b is totally dual integral, or TDI for short, if for every n tuple c with integer entries for which the problem minimizing c transpose x subject to a x greater than or equal to b has an optimal solution, the dual problem has an optimal solution that is integral. Recall that the dual problem looks like this. It's maximizing y transpose b subject to y transpose a equals c transpose and y greater than or equal to zero. So what this is saying is, to be totally dual integral, you need this problem to have optimal solution that has integer entries, as long as c is chosen such that c has integer entries and the problem has an optimal solution. We will look at a couple of results. The first result says the following. Say P is a polyhedron given by X in Rn satisfying A is greater than equal to B, where A has rational entries and B has rational entries. If A is greater than equal to B is totally dual integral, and B is integral, then P is in fact integral. In other words, P is equal to its integer Howell. And the second result states the following. If P is as before, then you can actually find a TDI system a prime x greater than equal to b prime that defines p with a prime to have only integer entries. Furthermore, if p is integral, you can choose b prime to have only integer entries as well. The following example shows that the theorem is actually stating something non trivial. If p is given by the following, one can show that this system is not TDI. But if we add another inequality, it still defines the same polytope, but this system is now TDI. So this theorem does say something non-trivial. We now look at a proof of the proposition. So take an n tuple C with integer entries such that the problem minimizing C transpose X subject to AX greater than equal to B has an optimal solution. Now the dual problem of P is the following. We know from linear programming duality that the optimal value for the dual is the same as the optimal value of P. But because A x greater than equal B is TDI, we can find optimal solution to the dual problem with only integer entries. But B has only integer entries, so Y transpose B is going to be an integer, and so the optimal value is an integer. So for any such C, the optimal value is an integer, and by our previous result, we know that P is integral, and that completes the proof.